So at this point, we understand the basics of working with objects. And so now we're ready to move on and talk about something a little bit more advanced. It's the concept of methods. When a function is attached to an object, this is what is known as a method. So it turns out we've already used tons of methods in JavaScript already, we just didn't know it. So one example would be the console.log, okay, that we use all the time in this course. That's a method, it's something that's a function that's built into JavaScript and it's ready for us to use already without us doing any extra work, okay? So let's set up our own methods in this video. I'm gonna start with a very simple example. Let's do something like const person one. And this is just going to be an object that contains some information about a person. We're just going to make this up as we go. So usually you have a first name and let's set this to, let's say Jennifer. So Jennifer, let's do last name and let's set this to, let's say Brown and some other stuff. So we want the birth year because we're going to end up calculating her age. So let's do 1995 for now. We can change it later. Let's do has degree. So this is just basically a Boolean. Does she have a degree or not? And I'm just gonna put true for right now, saying she has a degree. The state, like the current state she's living in, let's say it's Utah. And then let's put an array in here for likes. So I'm gonna put like, or I guess you could do likes. And this will be an array. Let's put some stuff in here. So swimming, let's say she likes dancing. Let's say she likes reading. Okay, so those are some things. So you notice in an object that basically you have these, again, name or key value pairs. So you have your name here and then you have the value, okay? You even have the name here and then basically you can have an array. Well, you can also have the name and then you can have a function, right? You can use a function expression because in the end, this is just going to end up being a value, okay? Just like I have a value here of true or I have a value here of Utah, you know, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and practice this. We're gonna start off with something outside of the object. We're gonna make a little calc age function, okay? We already know how to do this. Let's say we do something like function, and I'm gonna go calc age. And let's say we pass in the object, okay? For this example here, we'd be passing in person one, but it would work on any object that we wanted to pass in, okay? And then I'm gonna put in the birth year, okay? Because it's something we're gonna need. And if we're gonna calculate the age, again, this isn't gonna be perfect. I'm gonna do it based on the year. Obviously, if you wanted to get the exact age, you would need the month and the day and things like that. But we're just gonna keep this simple. So I'm gonna get this from JavaScript. I'm gonna go const year. And you've already seen this before. We're gonna go new and then date with a capital D. And then you need parentheses and then dot get full year. Again, you need to capitalize the F in full and the Y in year. Okay, so it's camel case. Okay, so this is going to basically give me the year. Right now it's 2021. If you're watching this in the future, you might be thinking why the date is off. Well, it's basically because it's hard-coded to the date on my computer now. Okay, so I'm gonna put something like const, let's go years old, okay? And I'm just going to make this the year, okay, which is right here. Again, that would be 2021 right now, minus the birth year. So that's something that's going to be passed in, okay? So then from here, I could simply just return the years old. And you might be asking, well, why didn't I just return year minus the birth year? You'll see that in a moment, okay? So let's go ahead and call this guy. I'm gonna go console.log, and I'm gonna go calc age. I'm gonna pass in person one, okay, for the object. And for the birth year, I'm gonna pass in person one dot birth year. Okay, so basically think about what's gonna happen. Person one is gonna take the place of object. I know we're not using it yet, but I'm just saying that it's taking the place of object and person one dot birth year is gonna take the place of birth year, okay? So this is basically gonna go inside of here and look for birth year. It's gonna get 1995. It's going to replace it here. So you're gonna have 2021 minus 1995. So that's gonna give you 26, right? So we're gonna get a result in the console of 26. So let's go ahead and put a semicolon there, pop open the terminal. And we do in fact get 26 as expected. Okay, now let's say we wanted to change things up a little bit and use this parameter object. So what I'm gonna do now, and the reason I didn't just return the year minus the birth year, I want this variable because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a property into this object that was passed in, okay? So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to say object.age, okay, is gonna be equal to this year's old, okay? So basically, after I've called this function, okay, and I've passed in person one, what's gonna happen is it's going to replace this object right here with person one. So person one dot age will now be equal to, in this case, 
whatever stored in years old, which is 26, okay? We can see this by console.logging. You could do person1.age if you wanted to, or you could just do the person one object if you wanted to look at the whole thing. So let's do it both ways. We'll clear this and run this. You see 26 and 26 again, and let's just see the whole thing, okay? So let's clear this and run this, and you see that it's been added in, right? So before we didn't have this age. This isn't something we typed in. We just put it in on the fly, right? So now we have age that's added in with a value of 26. Okay, so let's go even further, and I'll get rid of this. Instead of returning years old, why don't we return a little string? Okay, that references this object here. So let's put a little back tick there or back ticks. And I'm just going to say the object that was passed in dot first name. So we know that's there. And then the object that was passed in dot last name. We know that's there. So in this particular case, that would give me Jennifer Brown. And then I'll just put is. And then we need the age. So I'll put dollar sign, the curly braces. I'll put object, okay, dot age. Because we know at this point... I've already set it above. So remember, this is red top to going down. So object.age was set to years old. So right now this is 26. It's already in there. So now I can use it. So is, we have dollar sign curly braces with object.age inside. And then I'll just put years old. Okay. So let's pop this open and clear this. And let's run this. We get Jennifer Brown is 26 years old. Okay. So that's all I'm fine and dandy. I just want to make sure you understand how we could do this outside of this. Now, if I want to put this inside of the object, I'm really not going to have to change that much. What I would do here is just take this function name. So let's cut this away. I'm going to put a comma here. Okay. And then for the name, I'm going to put this here. So calc age and I missed the E. Okay. And then I'm going to get rid of this and just kind of tighten this down. So right now it's going to highlight on you because basically the function doesn't have a name, right? But if you cut this away from here and you put it in here, it's not a big deal because remember, this is a function expression, okay? So basically, if I wanted to call this guy right now down here, it wouldn't work exactly the same because I would have to go, instead of calling calc age, I would want to do person one dot calc age, and then I could pass those things in. Let's go ahead and clear this and run this, and you still get Jennifer Brown as 26 years old, okay? So we have just created our first method. Now, there's some things that we've done here that are quite inefficient. The first thing is here, I don't need to pass this object in here anymore. That's quite ridiculous because it's basically inside of the object itself. So let's get rid of that. And let's also get rid of the birth year. So we just need the parentheses there. We don't need any parameters. So we still need this year variable. And then basically we still have the years old. So that's still good. We still have the object.age. So this I'm going to change. I want to change all these places where there's object, okay? Because I didn't pass that in anymore. And I'm just going to put this to person one, okay? Because that's the object that I'm referencing. So again, this will work the same way. I've got to delete this from here, okay? And basically we can walk through what it's going to do. So again, we know about creating the year. We know about the years old. We know that calculation. But here I'm saying person one, which is this object up here, dot age. So I'm creating this property, again, with the value of years old. Whatever that is, in this case, it's going to be 26. Then I'm going to return. We have the person one dot first name, the person one dot last name. So in this case, it's Jennifer Brown. And then is, in this case, person one dot age is going to be 26, so 26 years old. So again, we pop this open and clear this and run this. And we get birth year is not defined. Okay, so I should have come up here, and I forgot about this. So we're going to have to put person one dot birth year here, okay? Because in this particular case, I'm not passing the birth year in anymore. So we need to reference the object and then dot and then the birth year. Okay, so now we can clear this and run this, and we get Jennifer Brown is 26 years old again. Okay, so that all works fine and dandy, but there's actually a better way. What happens is, let's say I was to change the name of this guy. Instead of it was person, let's say now I call this Jennifer, okay, or with a lowercase j. So Jennifer like this, okay. So if I come down here and I call, let's say Jennifer dot calc age, this is no longer going to work, okay. You're going to get all kinds of errors because everywhere in here you have this person one that you're referencing. So to fix this, you have a special keyword, okay. It's a variable called this. Now, when you talk about the this variable, it's quite extensive, okay? And I don't want to go too far into it. I want to just kind of put this a little bit at a time. But basically, when you talk about this, it refers to the object on which the method is called, okay? So in this particular case, let's say we're going jennifer.calcage, it refers to the object Jennifer, okay? So let's go ahead and change everywhere where we have person one. So I'm going to hit control D for this, okay? 
And basically I'm going to use this special keyword, this, okay? So now by making this little change, our function is going to be back to working. So I can pop this open and clear this and run this and I'm back to Jennifer Brown is 26 years old. The reason is because this is not specific to any name, okay? It just refers to the object on which called it. So if this is Jennifer, it refers to Jennifer. If I change this back to person one, okay, and I come down here and I change this back to person one, it still works, right? So I can go ahead and clear this and run this and we get Jennifer Brown is 26 years old again. All right. So now that we know the basics, let me get rid of this right here. And I'm going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to be using this in a little while. So I'm going to change this to something more realistic. I'm going to get rid of all of this and I'm just going to return something. So I'm going to be returning the year minus, I'm going to do this again, which is going to refer to the person one, okay, this object, because in this case, that's what's calling it, dot birth year, okay? So that's all I'm gonna return. So if I called this function now, I would get 26, okay? And that's all I'm gonna need for the next example. So let's go ahead and put another little method in here. Let's do a get full name. So I'm gonna go get full name. Okay, so I can say something like return, let's say this dot first name, or actually I need to do this as a string. So let's set this up with some back ticks and go this. So inside the curly braces, this dot first name, and then over here, dollar sign curly braces, this dot last name, okay? So it's just gonna give me a string where it basically puts them together. Again, another thing you can do is you could add a property in. So you could say something like this, okay, dot, and you could say something like full name, and you could say this is equal to, and you can just say this dot first name, and then you could say something like plus a space, and then plus the this dot last name, or again, you can use the back ticks. It, it doesn't matter, it's gonna perform the same thing. So let's go ahead and pop this down, and I'm just going to console.log. So I'm going to console.log. In this case, I have person one dot, I want my get full name, and I wanna use parentheses here to call the function, okay? So if I pop this open and clear this and run this, I just get Jennifer Brown, okay? So basically it's returning the first name and then the last name, that's all it's doing. And if you look at your object after this is called, if I go console.log and I go person one, you're gonna see that your full name is gonna be in there. So if we clear this and run this, you have your full name that's been added as Jennifer Brown. Okay, so maybe let's do one more just to get some practice. I think this is such an important concept. So I'm gonna put a comma here and do another one. Let's do something like can vote. So I'm gonna do can vote. And basically we're going to rely on some of the things that we've already done. So I'm going to do something like, let's say function. And up here, I'm going to actually remove this. I just wanna return stuff for right now. I don't wanna complicate things. So I'm gonna do function with my parentheses. And basically I'm just going to say this dot can vote. Okay, is equal to, I'm gonna start with this, which again is referring to person one in this case. I'm gonna say dot calc age, okay? So I'm calling this function, okay? So if I call this function, I'm going to be given back, I have a return here, the person's age. So I'm gonna ask if this value here that gets returned to me is greater than or equal to 18. If it is, I'm going to say true, Otherwise, I'm going to say false, okay? So basically, I'm creating a property here that is named with can vote, okay? And it's either gonna be true or false. Right now, this person is 26, so this should be true. So let's come down here, and I'm gonna go person one dot. I'm gonna go can vote. Again, you've gotta use the parentheses there because you're calling a function, okay? And then we're also going to console.log the person one object so that we can see that we've added this property with a name of can vote and a value of true. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear this and run this. And so you see, you get undefined because the function didn't return anything. But if you come down here, you get can vote, okay, added in with a value of true, which is what we expected, okay? But I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna get rid of this. And all I'm gonna do here is return a little string. And I'm gonna say dollar sign curly braces, this dot get full name, okay? So basically this is going to what? If I come up here and go to get full name, it's going to basically give me the person's first name and then their last name, okay? So this is perfect. So then what we wanna do is go dollar sign curly braces. I will say this.calc age, okay? Is that greater than or equal to 18? Okay, I'm just setting this up as I would. Well, basically if this is true, I wanna say can vote, okay? Otherwise, I wanna say can't vote, and I missed the 
quotes there. So can't vote like this, okay? So let's go ahead and put this out like this, and let's pop this open and clear this, and let's run this, and you get Jennifer Brown can't vote. Now this is a mistake, and the reason that this is a mistake, if you notice here, I forgot my parentheses here, so you didn't end up calling the function there. So if we go back and we clear this and run this, you get Jennifer Brown can vote, which is as expected. Okay, so let's wrap up the lesson and just make one long string here. And so you can play around with this on your own. I'm just going to make my own string that basically includes everything. I'll say console.log and put some back ticks here. And we'll start with the person's full name. So I'm going to go person1.getFullName. Okay, so that's one method that would give me Jennifer Brown. And then I'll say something like is, and then I'll use dollar sign curly braces. I'll put person one dot get full age, or actually it was calculate age, sorry. Use my parentheses, and then I'll put years old. And then maybe I wanna start a new line. Let's go ahead and see what we got so far. Let's pop this open and run this. So right now we get Jennifer Brown is 26 years old, and you have a new line. Okay, let's do something like dollar sign curly braces. Let's do person one dot first name only, We'll say lives in, we're going to use her state. So we'll say the person one dot, we'll use state, okay, to describe where she lives. And maybe we'll put a new line here and we'll say this again, person one dot name or first name. We'll put really likes and then we'll put the array from likes. We'll go through them one at a time. Again, there's all kinds of things you can do to kind of get all these values. I know there's three here, so I'm just going to basically go through the three. So let's go ahead and say really likes. And then I'll say person. Let's go ahead one dot likes. And then again, if I'm working with an array, if I want the first one, I'll put zero. And then I'll just basically do this again. So I'll go dollar sign color braces person one dot likes with one here. And then I'll put and, and I'll put dollar sign curly braces, person one dot likes with a two here in the braces. So let's just see what we have so far. More stuff to add, but let's just see what we got. Jennifer Brown is 26 years old. Jennifer lives in Utah. Jennifer really likes swimming, dancing, and reading. Okay, so so far that sounds okay. So let's put a period and let's start another new line. And let's put dollar sign curly braces, person one dot first name. And we'll just ask the question if she has a degree. So we'll put dollar sign curly braces, We'll put person one dot has degree. Okay, so if this is true, I wanna basically say that has a degree, okay? And then if it's not true, I'll put something like doesn't have a degree. Okay, so lastly, let me just put something in there about her voting. So, and we'll say dollar sign curly braces, person one dot can vote, okay? We'll call that guy and we'll basically be done at this point. So I know this is quite long, but this is something you should basically practice on your own. You should make your own object, make your own methods that do various things, okay? And then just practice going through and console.logging things and just seeing how things work, working with the this keyword. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up real quick and let's see what we got. So let's print this out. And we got Jennifer Brown is 26 years old. Jennifer lives in Utah. Jennifer really likes swimming, dancing, and reading. Jennifer has a degree and Jennifer Brown can vote, okay? And again, you can play around with this stuff. You can maybe change this to false. And let's say we switch this to something like Florida. And let's say we switch something like, I don't know, the birth year. Let's say we go to 2010. So for sure she can't vote. So let's pop this open, clear this, and run this. So Jennifer Brown is 11 years old now. Jennifer lives in Florida. Jennifer still really likes swimming, dancing, and reading. And Jennifer doesn't have a degree. And Jennifer Brown can't vote. 